Hiya, this is Exploring with Em and Stu. I'm Stu. And I'm Em. And, and today we're at Ratcliffe again at Site 5. five. Site 5, yeah, we returned here after doing the site further down the road and found a loads of stuff but it got dark so we decided we were going to return on Yeah, there, so. and this is like an Aladdin's cave for yeah. us because we really wanted to return. We didn't know what was here, obviously. Mm -hmm. and yeah. because, everything... of the, because of the new road that they've built nearby, they've demolished loads of the areas. But we basically haven't investigated, haven't we? Yeah. And yeah, we found stuff so it was worth coming back. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to keep the camera rolling because I'm going to yeah, show you around the area and that. And plus, can you give us a comment in the comment sections about yet again another new camera? Yeah. So that would be pretty good. Yes, today we're trying out a new GoPro. Today. Yeah, we're trying out on a GoPro today. So see what you think. If you don't like it, we, we always like a bit of, a bit of <laughs> feedback. So if we don't like it, we'll be devastated because the site is brilliant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and fall in a bit. So and fall in a bit. So get, it get it documented. Yeah. All right then, so I'm going to take you around now and uh, we'll see you in a second. Bye bye. Right guys, um, Emma's just getting her camera out, but we're going to start start taking you around now. Um, and uh, uh, we forgot to mention on the introduction that this is actually uh, RAF uh, Ratcliffe, so... It was, it was... Um... Not Ratcliffe, Rackheath. Rackheath. <laughs> Do you want to start again? No, 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 go on. <laughs> yeah, it I was, like the mess up. It was an American airbase, basically. Um, it's like 145, I think. So, yeah, just outside Norwich. So, that was 145. There you go. Just in case they couldn't hear what I was saying. Yeah. So, 145. So, we think there's blast shelters here, toilets here, other bits and bobs, lots of crap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, then, guys, right, if you'd like to come around with me. Uh, we're in a, a, a. Do you know what this actual one is, Em? No. Nah. Doesn't look like anything obvious. No, nah, it doesn't. Yeah, we're gonna go around the back. I was just having a just showing the guys now around this area. It looks like it's actually more of a dump site than it is anything else. So yeah. I'm trying to figure out if this is one big building or whether it's two small buildings or, or what. Yeah, yeah, there's a possibility there, we don't know. Um okay then. Right guys. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, just going to follow Emma because I need to have a bit of concentration on my steps. So I'll see you in a second. Right, guys, we're just coming through where Emma just came through. Just, oh, we've got something uh, like an old trailer of some sort here. Don't think it's anything significant to the World War II uh, rack heath, but yeah, we do we do find this quite a lot. We, if you remember on our last video, we see a tree growing through a telly. Do you remember that? There's Emma taking yeah, this her. This is actually shots. embedded inside the tree. Like, Let's have a look at that's this. That's been there sometime. Guys, you probably ain't interested in this, but that is pretty cool. Do you know what? It might be something to do with Rack Heath. I mean, it could be. It's been here a long time. It's been there a long time. All right, then, guys. No, enough of that. I don't think we've come all this way to see an old trail of a tree growing through it. But um, yeah, we're just going to come through here now. Um, you see where they, where they were building the roads, they've knocked a lot of this down, you see. And uh, obviously um, we're just coming to document the last bits of it. But we can see like the industrial site have so, so been uh, chucking their stuff away. So, yeah. Okay then, so we're gonna go through here. So, that's it. See the old wall there. This looks like a quite a wide, wide building. This would have been quite a big building, I reckon, to be honest. But yeah. So, the old metal pipe there. And big tyres over there as well. Emma's just getting some shots, I think. So, got this mound here. So, so yeah guys, um, we're literally uh, going to be going through the trees now and then we're getting to like, some more buildings and that. It's where the interesting stuff starts really, but we wanted to start further back so we didn't have to walk here, walk back, walk, you know, everywhere sort of thing. We've got other places to see today, so yeah, so yeah, come along with us, so we'll see you in a minute. Right guys, hi right, guys, right we're just going through the trees now, um, going to be uh, sort of struggling, I'm pinging Emma in the face with bushes probably but we've got another significant <laughs> building just here that we're gonna gonna have a look yeah 
Well, I thought we we're going to have a look at these because it's on our way out. Right, so, are we going to come back and do this up? Yeah, yeah, because it's on our way out. Yeah. So, I don't know what this is, but it does say danger. But then again, this is uh, exploring with Emma Stu. We don't know the name meaning of danger until we fall down an hole one day. Right, it says here, danger, high voltage. Oh, it looks like we've got an original bed of some sort in there. to go in the other way. Yeah, look, distribution. Centre. Centre. Oh, that's interesting. They did have well, some... Uh, yeah, all right, guys, we're going to... Oh, God. Um, right, we're going to have to... <laughs> right, guys, we're going to have to go back through the trees, back round to the other side by the looks of it. So we're going to do that now, so... That's quite original, that sign. Yeah, it, it is. It does, yeah. So, guys, we'll be... I'll turn the cameras on in a minute. We have to go all the way around again and, and all that sort of thing. So we'll see you in a second. All right, guys, we've made it through the trees yet again. Uh, we're just walking around to the, the power distribution centre. So, there's a lot of, there's a hell of a lot of um, work that's got to go. Do you know what? I'm not climbing over that crap. I'm going over here. I'm doing my head in climbing and, and that. So, oh, I wish I could show that. I wish Emma just diving over the, the thingy there. Now this is the distribution centre guys, we don't know, this must be what, oh it is in a bed, it was an original gate. That's what I thought, yeah. Uh, it would be an M&E plinth here. Yeah, an M&E plinth which is like a, like a generator. Ah. Yeah, this is what, I, yeah, this is what I, that's why I say don't stand behind me. Oh okay, here we go guys. You know I can't see you with my rat oh, no, on. So there you go guys, this what is, is the M&E distribution centre. Well, now this this is going to be, a, yeah, well, noise. Emma, Emma, you say you don't know what it is, but it's a clear sign on there saying danger electricity. Oh, yeah. Can't see any electric? No, it's not at the moment. But look, here's, here's something original. Yeah, I'll look over here. Can't see anything yeah. else. Do you reckon the tree's original growing out for... <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Cool. It is pretty cool, isn't it, guys? I wonder what's underneath all these leaves. Yeah, I'm not digging it out. Oh, we know one thing a rabbit's been in here pooing, look, it's down there. Oh, so we know, we know a rabbit's been in here. So, yep, yeah, alright, don't stand behind me. Alright, guys, we go out through here. So, we've, we've seen the electrical distribution area now. Um, Maybe we can uh, now um, go out from the other side. We have heard that there's uh, there's a there's a like, buildings here that were toilets or, or um, ablution uh, rooms that have still actually got the urinals in them, which is like World War II urin urin uh, urinals. So yeah, um, we're going to be walking around here now. So going to see what's what's what following uh, Emma. No, I'll follow you, so I'll see what's going on. There's nothing here. Can we get over there though? Oh, we can't even get through. Oh, look, it's more climbing. But we're heading over there, guys. Uh, so, yeah, and over there. I don't think you can see it on the camera. But, the yeah. lighting's bad today, isn't it? Well, actually, I think the light is actually picking up quite it's nicely. Doing it, so oh, it is. Never we're never going to get the full HD um, stuff on the camera. Experience. The 4K experience, but yeah. So what I'll do is guys, because me and Emma are going to try and climb through all this again and I'll turn the camera on uh, when we get through, so see you in a sec. Right guys, we made it out of the uh, brambles, the leaves and the trees. And, but what we're going to do now, we're going to go and visit some blast shelters and some ablution rooms. Uh, started further back, uh, working our way forward. As I said, if, you, if you've just watched this, got into, tuned into the video, that this is uh, RAF Rackheath and uh, we're just looking at the remnants of what the builders basically did they they ripped so much up round here to build the new road uh, which is such a shame yeah. such but a shame this time we know what we're looking at yeah last time we were like <laughs> what is this what is this and we we're like what is this and like you know people were going it's an it's an RAF base and it's like ah oh, I wish we knew that so yeah, yeah. we've done our homework we've we, done our yeah. research 
We're, I bought some books for Christmas. This is actually our first explore that we've done. Isn't it? Since oh, Christmas. 2019. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if it'll be the, it won't be the first one. We, like, no, it's not the first one we get loaded. It's the first one we're doing. And yeah. it's freezing today. It's, it's like bloody 1. cold. 1.5 degrees on it the is. Here, so it hence is. Hence the reason I got me out on. So we hope the GoPro 4K experience is, is really helping out. I don't know what it's going to Let's look at this blast shell. Like. I think we're all right. We've got plenty of time. Uh, you keep yapping. Yeah, we keep yapping. So, yeah, guys, so we're going to look at the blast shell now. So, I'm going to uh, turn off the camera and, and see what we can get, all right? Right, guys, we're just coming up to the first blast shell now. Now, these ones are more intact than the other ones that we visited um because they're like nigh on underground has not been looked after not saying these ones have been looked after but it looks like it's had a lot less um damage than the last ones but they are having trees grow out of them and stuff like they were on the first ones we looked at we can have a look down there and i actually can climb up on the top of here and sort of show you weren't these uh, didn't they have like a corrugated iron roof i don't know actually it doesn't look like it doesn't no but yeah, so look to that one. Emma's going to get a few shots. Don't forget, she puts uh, her shots in the camera uh, from her camera into into this area. So, okay, guys, I'm going to switch the camera off now, and we're going to try and get into the pollution room. So we'll see you in a second. Right, guys, we've uh, just um, been doing some modelling shots at the uh at the thingy now what we me and emma said was we we make this sometimes too prof uh, not professional as such but like too about things this was about us so we've taken a few pictures of us actually standing on the grounds and that I was having, a having a laugh yeah and emma looks like a like a model standing in like the debenhams thing maybe so. we should uh, yeah it's, it's our prototype shots for when we start doing our own range of clothes yeah oh yeah <laughs> we're gonna start doing no i don't think we'll ever do that we need to get some. We need to get as high as like fighters or IKS yeah. to do it's things like that. Hard. Yeah. So I want to do a big shout out. Actually, um, don't know if you're allowed to do this, but to Tom Outdoors. And if it wasn't for him on some of his videos, we wouldn't be going to some of these places neither. Plus, I'll be entertained. Also Plus, I tell you what, he's. If anyone goes on his channel, you've got to watch the Halloween special. That absolutely made me cry. It was so funny. Um, we don't know the bloke, but he, we, we have him on like every other day just to cheer us up because it is really funny. But anyway, guys, back to the video. Um, Going to get to another blast shelter now. So just having a look through here. This one's not in the best condition, as you can see. Not the best condition. So, but it's inadequate uh, sort of condition to know what it basically is so better than the other ones on the other video when we did site six, was it, site six it was site six on the first one yeah. this is site five yeah which was yeah. the mess site just down south from here what site was it where we found the gate the gate the gate the house the the soldier gate the gate where the bungalow was the gate oh, um, oh let's you know where i was supposed to say old derelict <laughs> bungalow i think it yeah. was site three is that site three? Oh, i don't know you put me on the spot here now yeah. I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, that's right, we'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> but anyway guys, uh we're gonna head over to the uh the ablution room now, which is just here. So we'll see you in a second. See you in a minute. Yeah. Alright guys, uh just going up to the ablution room. Yeah. Zemma doing uh David Bailey shots as usual. I always take the piss. But they are her photography I, I think is getting a lot better considering we've never done any of this before. So, but yeah, we're just coming up to a ablution room now. Um, I think this is the one with an intact urinal on it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Look, look, guys, look at that. So exciting. Oh, it's, it's, well, it's not that exciting to see a pisser, ah. but it is quite it's exciting. Been down quite yeah. Oh, we've got an original uh, toilet basin over here. It's been smashed, but we can sort of see that, guys. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, you can sort of I'll try and get you just there. I'm sorry that our detail isn't exactly the best, but what we're going to do, I, 
we've, we've been looking at these sites and these sites are starting to crumble away they've not been looked after nothing oh. do you know what, that's what I have to put up with she's look at what she's doing look I'm right now it's just falling in. I wish I wish I could have got that on camera falling back um yeah these sites now we never take a souvenir home because we're always we're always very careful aren't we with with what but maybe a brick <laughs> or i mean like we've we found a load of the old world war ii windows that have just been scattered this place is going to go i mean do we take a souvenir or not of like a, a, a like a remembrance thing of this place i don't know we've never done this we've never we've never vandalized and we've never done anything bad it is very anti-exploring, isn't it? Yeah. But I don't know. I don't think we should. Nah. No, I don't think we should. Maybe drop a comment. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it'll be too late by the time you've dropped a comment. But drop a comment anyway, just to let us know what you think we if should have done. anything that anybody ever takes. Like, I don't know, like, some, like a flower to press or something. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Well, anyway, this is one of the ablution rooms. We just wanted to know your view on it, you know. So, there we go. Right. Okay, now off to the next um, ablution room or shower room or whatever it was, and Emma's just doing what she's doing. guys we're just going up to the next ablution rooms now now me and Emma scouted this area before we came on camera there's not a lot to see but we'll share it with you anyway what did we say? It was probably just, toilet, showers. <laughs> just a toilet and shower I reckon yeah, yeah there's a lot of them round here for some reason but I'm gonna say it's a big area well this would have been you can see a bit of ceramic on the floor there so probably got 70 year old wee on it and then come through here and say these these areas uh oh sorry guys about the juddering if there is juddering and rubble in there you can't see that's where the new road is just down there you see sad really yeah just just over that side and over there and they completely destroyed it really Big, massive gymnasium just on the road there. Yep. It was huge. Great warehouse thing. And it's gone. They just yeah, get rid of it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is this is. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, you hear that? I mean, Emma will start putting. We'll put a few pictures of the original buildings in here, which is going to be really fascinating to the video. So, right, what we do is now, guys, we head out, get to the last ablution room, and then I think we're going to call it a day from this point and go on to our next explore. So, see you in a sec. This is just a sneaky little video of Emma hurting herself over there and she's doing a... No, I'm not filming. No, I'm, I'm literally, I'm just looking where the best shot to get for the road. Yeah, she thinks that I'm not filming her, but I'm actually definitely putting this in the video. So I'm going to watch her trying to... Look, 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 look. She's going to fall over, I know it. She always does. She does, I'll be quite surprised. Look, 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 look. <laughs> So yeah, oh, here she goes, here she, oh, here she goes, gonna go. Yeah, there she is. I've got to put this in a video just to have a laugh. So, yeah. I ain't filming ya. Now I'm trying to look for where the best spot to get on the other side of the road is. There she goes, look. All right, I'm gonna switch this camera off very discreetly now, guys, so. See you in a second. All right, guys, we're just going up to the next ablution rooms now, and then we're going to call it a day on this explore because we've got a, a couple of other places to go. I'm not going to say what they are because we don't even know if we can get in them yet. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'll take you through. Hey? Nah, we've got a few. We've got a few places in in mind. So. But Rack, Rack Heath, this is where we really wanted to come to explore to yeah. see if there's any more, yeah. And we can sort of see it here. But what I'm going to do, guys, at the end of this video, I'm going to try and do my best for a whole scout of the area. So you've got some of the original roof in there. Oh, it's all asbestos, isn't it? Yeah. 
and got original door so if we if you come with us let's see if we can get around the oh, other yeah, side there's actually an original door there is an original door and a part of the original roof up there look so this is quite exciting we've just come through here guys yeah an original door frame oh my word <gasps> and urinals why do I sound really excited about seeing urinals? Yeah, we always get excited about it. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh, my word. Look. Oh, it's got all the original wires all along there. Oh, that is that is precious. And you've got the original asbestos door there. The original wood door handle. And the actual framework. Look at the framework, guys. Look at that frame. I know it's a bit close up, sorry. But that is really, really cool. What a find. And then obviously we've got the uh, the original windows in there and the cor corrugated. Just makes you wonder how intact this was before they built the road. They knocked it about a bit, didn't they? Yeah, even down to the concrete lindals are all the same. I mean, this is an amazing find, guys. This really is. If you're a um, World War II enthusiast. Yeah. Well, I'm going to come if out. If you're not, then you might find it boring. Yeah, you might find it boring. But I'm going to come out, guys, now. I'm going to let Emma do her shots. And I'm going to try and get on the tripod and do a few shots, maybe, of a uh, like, scout of the whole area. Um, so I'll do the scout of the shot now. Um, and then me and Emma will uh, obviously always say goodbye to you guys and to our supporters and that. But, um, yeah, okay, so we'll see you in a minute. Right guys, um, before we go and say goodbye properly, um, yeah. Properly, yeah um, basically um, we're at site three, we think. Um, we, think. Um, we did this in our last video, but last time it was quite dark and we didn't really get the footage that we wanted, but this is the old gatehouse. It's called a picket post. Picket post, yeah. World War II picket post. So, it would have been, yeah, pretty much the, the gatehouse to the whole airbase really. Yeah. The main road would have been, I guess, down here. And so, a little guardhouse almost. So yeah, we're gonna really cool. show it. you the, the road. And this, my friends, is the guard guard house. Picket post. Well, picket <laughs> post, guard house, same thing, it had guards in it. But, it but we're talking layman terms to people who don't know what it is. Yeah, we've told them what it is now. Yeah, stop arguing with me. <laughs> right guys, put the light on and we'll have a we'll we're, have a, we're really testing that the GoPro here. Yeah, we, we are testing that GoPro. But again, you know, please leave, drop a comment. You know, always, always glad for a comment. Let's see what, see what you think, and that. But yeah, look at the old windows here. Look at the old windows. We love the old windows, me and them. Find that really satisfying. Let's see things like this. Oh, these are old cement, cement things. Look, a wooden. Um, no, this is Fissions, this old um, fertiliser factory was called Fissions. Oh, oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Oh, fertiliser then. Yeah, look, the old door, guys, look. The old door. And this is asbestos, as we pointed out on the last thing. Got the wood frame, the original door frame, uh, the door handle. That's actually the mechanism by the looks of it's gone inside. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do that now. I'm just look at the door frame. And then we've got the, the original... Uh, why is up there? My light's flickering a little bit. I think I might have to put a bit of power into that guy, so just give me a second. It's not a problem. I've got spare batteries in the bag. But there you go. It's, it's a bit better in there. What do we think? <laughs> got a new light actually. Um, got a new light. I will be doing a review on my new light um, at some point. Uh, it's not this one I'm using. I'm actually waiting for it to come through on the post. So, but yeah, we've got this the old plumbing, plumbing uh, there. It's like a gas main of some sort, maybe. The old electrics there. It's like covered. But if you come out here, come walk around here with us. And um, if I remember correctly, guys, um, there was a shower room around the side here. Um, 
so yeah here we go this is the old shower room i think the toilet toilet i think actually oh this is the toilet this one let's put the light on we've got some of the original ceramics there and the toilet base water and i assume that the the uh the water tank will have been positioned just here and the original door again seized up and the door handle and again the asbestos there Emma. I'm just what's that Em? Oh yes or a bit up there look no but do you know what it's not the builders that are causing the damage it's the what it's, it's the trees now look absolutely amazing yeah absolutely amazing all right guys as um we're going to walk around the other side now where we actually found some urinal blocks there's actually a car seat there don't think that's original actually looks like that's off an aldi same sort of seat as my my old seat my old aldi i'm going to walk through here now we are hurrying up with this guys because we have got other places to go but we really wanted to show you all this so we're gonna go through here and then you'll have got some looks like acros of some sort maybe i don't know put the light on oh actually look like basketball hoops maybe but this is the amazing thing this here it's the old um i mean you look at this this is this is actually coming down and falling through now but we've got an original urinal in this one here so which is pretty cool and it looks like the the wall there and the door seem better days and the door frame and that but um round this side sorry guys oh so camera's really really getting caught up it's around here you see our window which has still got some glass in it which is always really great to see, Did you see that last no time? the original roof and again what emma said the the decorative endings so yeah so anyway well um emma's in her own little world look um so guys yeah in a we'll uh, we're gonna be saying goodbye in a minute so um, we'll see you in a little while. Let Emma get some great shots and we'll put it in with the video. Mm -hmm. See you in a minute. Yeah. Right guys, very, very quickly. There's a bungalow here. It's being used for um, the builders who are building the roads. Uh, don't know if there's anyone here, but there is some significant little bits in this area. So I'm gonna take you around to the old um, coal house and some other little bits around the area it's old brick walls and everything around here so we've got to go to our next explore we keep on saying that but we've got to go but this is brilliant so we'll see you in a second right guys we're just walking around to the back garden of this area um, we just see the old got the old wall the old wall for the old bungalow and that if you come through here um, obviously this is the site area that they're using this bungalow for this thing turns into an urban urban exploration but over here just here is the old the original chimney and the, the for the coal the coal house I don't think that'll be open I think that'll be locked yeah so yeah and then you've got that there but, you know they, they took this place over and uh, obviously kept the washing lines <laughs> but if you look across the way there I don't know if you can see it that's where we just were so but originally on this site used to be a ration a ration uh, um, shed and also from what Emma tells me just over there as well we're going through the middle of the road used to actually be the gymnasium which Emma will be popping a picture in with the video uh, to show you where that would have been but we're just going to look at this concrete base now and here 
obviously something definitely would have been here. This is we reckon this would have been the uh, the ration area, the ration ration shed, ration shed. Emma saying yes, Emma. Ra yeah, ration storage. So yeah, guys, this is it. So we've got a nice little pond down there. So this is what they turned it into, which is such a shame. Such a shame. Anyway, right, guys. Uh, we're just doing a little bit more wandering around then we're going to say our goodbyes so uh, we'll see you in a bit <sighs> alright guys Emma's just um, reading through a little bit of information on this bungalow it ain't just a coal store that is actually old but it turns out how the actual bu bungalows are old how about you come back and look at the little stones it was, uh, it was completely encased bungalow in fact is a modified RAF building which was encased right. in brick and enlarged after the war, as you can see there's the, the model of it. Okay. Um, then it was converted into a private dwelling after that. So, um, yeah, there you go. Okay. All right, guys, so apart from the, uh, the obviously, the double modern glazed modern, modern bit, but yeah, this is actually an original mm -hmm. area. You can see the chimneys are quite old. Yeah, I've, I've shown them the chimneys, yeah, from the other side. It doesn't say what it was used for, though. No. No. Right. And this is site four. Site four, not site three. I made the mistake. I made the mistake. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right then, guys. So we're going to go across now, say goodbyes. We've got to get to another explore, as I keep on saying on this video. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. This is the end of uh, the Rack. Explore. Yeah, explore at Rack Heath. RAF um, base. RAF base, yeah. Site six. Yes, I believe this is site, site six. Yeah. So. Maybe we'll find some more of the other sites in the future. Yeah, yeah. But not today. But um, yeah, I mean, as we're on the on the camera, just saying goodbye to you guys. Um, we just want to give another shout out to Tom Outdoors and to IKS Exploration. Yeah. If it wasn't for them, yeah, we, uh, they help us a lot with our research. Yeah. In fact, they're inspirational, really. Aren't they, they are very, you very. Know, very watching their stuff, it, it does inspire you to come and visit it yourself. Yeah. So check out their channel, yeah. please. Check we've, out their we've channel. We've used their information a lot. Yeah, in the stuff that we've seen, and sp so. especially for identifying things, yeah. uh, yeah. they've you know they've been really really good, and obviously Tom outdoors does a lot of well outdoor stuff. He, he does a lot of walks, wild camps, and exploration. Yeah, what we're yeah, doing. Like, I mean, we watch loads of other yeah. explorers because we, I mean, you know, in the van exploring, he's pretty cool. Pretty he cool. Likes his RAF stuff. So check and out these explorer, people's channels. They're brilliant young yeah. lads, aren't they? Yeah, they do mainly kin. That's so. it. But check out these people's channels, you know. Most of them are better than us. Yeah, they are. I mean, everyone's better than us, but, you know, um, check them out. They've been doing it a lot longer. They've got a lot more experience. So, yeah. So, anyway, from um, Exploring with Emma Stu, I'm Stu. And I'm Em. And we'll see you in our next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.